lovelies you're welcome back to another vlog if this is your first time here kindly subscribe like and share this video um i'm starting this vlog with this gift my husband got from a party he went to and this smells so good so that's like the souvenir for the party one of the souvenirs for the birthday party it smells so nice so this is the second one it's a different fragrance the first one well i love the smell but i love this one more it smells so amazing i'm going to be keeping this till winter yes because i we use candles sometimes during winter so i'm going to be keeping this till winter it smells so lovely so nice yeah so this is then i decided to um make some pasta yes for the morning yeah so i'm using spaghetti i use essential spaghetti from howdy i use then i'm using um this geisha i will be using meatballs but something happened with my meatballs you're going to see that later i'm using crayfish blended crayfish i'll be using um these tomatoes as well so this is my blended pepper i, ha I have tomatoes here and the scotch bonnet i'm using one because it's very peppery it's the one i got from the um sunday market which i showed you if you have not watched that the video is on my channel so i'm just going to parboil this and then i'm going to fry the stew now to my meatballs my meatballs has expired yes it has expired i didn't know i just kept it in the freezer and then when i took it out this has expired so i'm not going to be using this i'll just trash them so yes i have my spaghetti still boiling and on the other side i'll be frying the pepper like the pepper mix yes so that since my meatball has expired probably i'll just be using the uh the sanding yes i said geisha the other time is sanding um in sunflower oil i love sanding in sunflower oil i don't like the one in tomato sauce so i have um my i'm frying my pepper i love using um onions a lot yes and everyone in my household um eats onions so that's perfect for us sometimes i had garlic but this time i'm not adding garlic so i'm just going to fry this separately i'll add my sanding and then we'll have this for the pasta then i'll mix it with the pasta later on well to go with the glory <laughs> i searched my freezer and i found this um chicken grilled chicken in fact this is the remaining one i don't know it, it must have been long there i just kept it in the freezer so i found that and then i'm using that with my sardine in the stew yeah so uh spaghetti is parboiled already and for me i sieve this so after sieving i'm going to add cold water that is how i do mine i'll sieve hard cold water and then i'll Put it back in the pot and then i'll mix the pepper when it's done like the mixed um pepper when it's done i'll add it to the spaghetti mix everything together and i have my pasta that is how i do mine so i also had it crayfish sometimes i had locust beans which is called hiru sometimes i had that especially when i want to do like <laughs> I, want, I just have time for nonsense Especially if I'm taking, if it's for myself alone, because one of my kids does not like seeing locust beans. So, but this time around, I'm just, I don't want anybody to, to yarn <laughs> in my hairs. So I'm just making this without locust beans. But it's always nice with locust beans, actually. It's very nice. So this pepper actually tastes very nice. Very nice. So I've sieved my spaghetti at this point. I've sieved it and I've, it's now back in the pot and then i'm going to be adding this to you when it's ready so our pasta is ready so i've mixed the stew with the spaghetti and then this is what we have so it is ready and i'll be stepping this down with this my red grape wine i love this wine i love it so much so in the afternoon i had this suya almost it's been a long time i had suya 
my husband made this well yes this is one of the skews he, he has <laughs> and we've been begging him to make for us but he has not been hands rails so yes this suya tastes like so good i had this like the whole week i was just i was just having it small small gradually gradually <laughs> it tastes so nice actually it tastes so so nice we are begging him again to do another one for us but well so later on in the evening i made this akara and i'll be showing you what i use for my to heat my own akara if i don't use gary i use one other thing and then you see that later on in this video so i made hakara and i normally i had um crayfish this is the remaining of my crayfish from what i brought from nigeria in january hmm. i must use this crayf crayfish like judiciously <laughs> so yes i have I, i've blended my um peeled beans i use peeled beans normally I've, i use peeled beans so i blended it i fried the one for the kids first and this is for the adult i'm just adding scotch bonnet diced scotch bonnet inside this and then i'll fry this i love this myself and then i added onions as well but for the kids i just use the blended um beans so this is what i use for my own akara yeah I use tortilla wrap to eat my own akara. I know it's weird, but if you try it, you will love it. Yes, <laughs> you will love it. But I don't use gari, I use this. So guys, we have come to the end of today's vlog. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.